a perfect market is characterized by a perfect competition. There are however various conditions that result in a perfect competition. And in this video, we'll discuss some of these characteristics. So, subscribe now to Kano Academy. And let's explore some of the characteristics or conditions that constitute a perfect market. But before we get into the characteristics, let's first explain a perfect market. A perfect market is characterized by perfect competition. Perfect competition, on the other hand, occurs in a market structure with a large number of participants who have access to all required information about the marketplace and are all price takers. Prices are also determined by demand and supply. Examples of market structures demonstrating most conditions of a perfect competition include the stock exchange, the foreign exchange market, as well as central grain exchange and agricultural produce markets. A perfect market is also a market where no single buyer or seller has a noticeable influence on the price of a good. This gives a true reflection of the scarcity value of goods and services. The characteristics and conditions that result in a perfect competition include the following. Products must be homogeneous. This means that products must be identical. There should also be no differences in style, design, and quality. In this way, products compete solely on the basis of price and can be purchased anywhere. There should also be a large number of buyers and sellers. It should further not be possible for one buyer or seller to influence the price. When there are many sellers, the share of each seller in the market should be so small that the one seller cannot influence the price. In a perfect market, sellers are price takers, meaning that they accept the prevailing market price, and if they increase prices above the market price, they will lose customers. In a perfect competition, there is also no preferential treatment, nor discrimination. Collusion occurs when buyers and sellers make an agreement to limit competition. In a perfect market, no collusion takes place. Buyers and sellers base their actions solely on price, because homogeneous products fetch the same price. Therefore, no preference is shown for buying from, or even selling to any particular person. In a perfect market, there is also free competition. Meaning, buyers must be free to buy whatever they want, from any firm, and in any quantity. Sellers must also be free to sell whatever they want, for how much they wish, and wherever they wish. There should also be no state or government interference, and no price control. Buyers should also not form groups to obtain lower prices, nor should sellers combine to enforce higher prices. In a perfect competition, there is also free access to and from markets. Meaning, producers may enter and leave a market with little interference. Entering and leaving a perfect market is easy, as less capital is required, and there are fewer legal restrictions. In a perfect market, there is also efficient transport and communication. Efficient transport ensures that products are made available everywhere, while efficient communication keeps buyers and sellers informed about market conditions. This makes access to markets possible. All participants in a perfect market have full knowledge of market conditions, meaning both buyers and sellers are aware of what is happening in any part of the market. Technology has increased competition as information is easily obtained via the internet. Lastly, factors of production are completely mobile in a perfect market. This means that labor, capital, as well as other factors of production can move freely from one market to another. Let's now summarize these characteristics and conditions that constitute a perfect market or a perfect competition. There's a large number of firms, and they're all price takers. Entry to the market is completely free. This means that, buyers and sellers may enter and exit the market, at any given time. Products are homogeneous. The demand curve of perfect competition, is also horizontal. Participants also have full and perfect knowledge, about the market. In a perfect market, there's no control over the market price. This means that, all firms are price takers. 
A perfect competitor makes economic profit or loss in the short run and makes normal profit in the long run. Examples of perfect markets are foreign exchange markets, agricultural products markets, and stock exchange markets. Collusion is also not possible under perfect competition. Decision-making of one firm also has no influence on other firms. To conclude, in reality, there are few perfect markets. However, there are some sectors, such as mining and agriculture, where many of the conditions are met. These sectors illustrate the way in which the market mechanism works. We've come to the end of this video. Remember that, you can always re-watch the video, if you need more understanding, on the topic. We hope we were able to provide more clarity on the topic. If we have, please leave us a comment, below this video, because we'd love to hear from you, and what you have learned from this video. You can also like this video, to show your appreciation. And you can also share it, on your social media, or via WhatsApp. Until we meet again, happy learning. From all of us, at Kano Academy.